So many things draw me to Joyce. The dignity of the exile, the silence that won't complain nor explain. Most of all, the miracle of the language. And I also admire, more than I can say, the manner in which Joyce has transmuted the ordinary stuff of life, the lowly, to something glorious and eternal. The stale bit of bread becomes the divine body. The streets of a very ordinary city are turned into the streets of a divine city, although still made by men's hands. What every artist can still learn from Joyce is this need to look at the ring of a Guinness glass on a pub table, the sawdust on the floor, the ordinary trivial details of ordinary living, 